Monday, April 30th, 8.07. First day of mowing, and it's 41 degrees, supposed to be 60. Here we go. Okay, a couple things start off. These glasses here, they're just cheap generic glasses. Look, I don't know if you can see all that moisture in there. They fog right up. And these are what I've always used. They're Nemesis glasses. They actually sell them in welding stores. They're safety sunglasses. It's what I've always used. And uh, I'm glad I still have a decent pair that aren't too scratched up. So I'm definitely going back to these. Um, first yard of the season. I weed whacked everything through um, all the way around the whole building or the whole house, uh, front, back, side. And I picked up sticks. That's the sticks I picked up from the uh, front yard. Not too bad, but I know they're, they're there every year in the spring. Um, and she came out and said, uh, go ahead and charge me extra for the first cut. I know I know it takes a lot more work. So it's cool when they say that because it's coming anyway. So it's nice when they tell me to go ahead and do it. But anyway, what I was saying about the sunglasses, these are the ones I normally wear. Um, I bought those because I got a pack of like six pairs for 15 bucks online this winter and i go through them like crazy usually one to two pairs a month because so much stuff hits them and scratches them all up and you can't see through them anymore which is exactly why i wear them because uh, <laughs> that stuff would destroy my eyes if i didn't have them anyway um the point of everything is a lot of you guys know if you've been doing this a while when you wear certain sunglasses you can't tell how low you're weed whacking and you can't tell if there's a little straggler sticking up it's just the type of sunglasses um, and the way the lenses are. So these ones are perfect for that. Um, so those new ones, they fog up, like I said, plus I can't see. I couldn't tell how low I was weed whacking, which isn't good. Um, but anyway, here's the setup for the day. I have the Walker with the brand new deck on it. I have the Great Dane with the accelerator. And you guys haven't seen that. That's a Toro 30 inch Time Master. I've used the crap out of it already doing cleanups. I love that thing. I contemplate buying it for a couple years. I know there's going to be a bunch of you naysayers that tell me, oh, you should have bought this, that. Nope, that's all I need. That works for me. And uh, I don't need you to tell me what I should or shouldn't have bought. If you like it, comment. If you don't, then move along. Anyway, so that's what I got. Love the hell out of that thing already. I haven't really cut much grass with it yet. Only a little bit, but I've bagged leaves after leaves doing cleanups, and that thing is awesome. Um, and I've mulched with it. Also phenomenal. The only thing I haven't done with the side discharge, but that will come. Anyway, here is the new combi system. Obviously the paddle wheel ain't on it. I put the weed whacker head on it. I already swapped out that head like you saw in the last video um, with the speed feed head. Oh yeah, there's the other screen. I have a small one in there now. Um, but anyway, a couple things. One, this is definitely heavier than my FS90s. The other FS90 is in the uh, is in my garage, but anyway, this is definitely heavier, which I expect it to be, but not that much. The other thing is, this handle is down way too low. I'm gonna have to loosen up the uh, loosen up the mount on it and slide it up because it's so low. It forces me to lean way down. I'm six foot one, so it, it kind of forces me to lean way down, and uh, just this yard alone just killed my back. So definitely needs to come up. Um, only about three inches or so, but that makes a hell of a difference, um, which I had done with my, my FS90s in the past. Anyway, so I got to do that. The other thing is it has this handle thing that's part of it. I'm going to figure out how to change this and get that off there. If I have to, I'll take the handle off my other FS90 and swap it with this since I plan on using this more. But anyway, this keeps hitting my leg. Here that, I'm just going to cut it right off. We'll see. But anyway... So it's time to cut this first yard. This little mower turned out to be pretty good with mowing this grass. You can't really tell too much. It's funny how in videos it it just changes the complete appearance from actually seeing the lawn in person. Now this lawn's pretty thick, it's pretty tall, but it doesn't look that bad in camera. And I had it on a height that I thought would be good, and I didn't like it, so early on, I changed the height. After, like, the first pass around, I changed the height, dropped it down, and uh, I probably could have gone a little bit lower, but I was happy with this. So, um, 
that's the other thing I really like about this mower is the bag on it is huge. It's at least twice the size of a regular push mower. Um, for those of you that don't know, this mower is 30 inches wide. I like it, and I know that there's a lot of things you got to watch for. Like a lot of guys have had issues with the transmission on them, but you got to take into account. Well, I do anyway. Um, it really makes no difference to you and doesn't matter to you. But for me, um, I don't have to mow this backyard. I can fit my 48 Walker GHS back here. It's just the yard was a little bit soft. So I decided to mow it with this. Um, I have one backyard that I do have to mow it with. And I have two small front yards to do. Um, so this mower will probably get a half hour use after you know once I get through the beginning stages of mowing this where it's soft um, once I actually get the walker in here the actual time this mower will get used is maybe a half hour a week so it's I really am not going to run into the big problems that a lot of guys run into that are using these mowers a lot of the issues that they've been having especially with the transmission i don't mow hills with it um, i'm not going to be using it extended periods of time throughout the entire summer so i mean eventually it will have issues it's mechanical anything mechanical can and will fail it's only a matter of time i don't care who makes it but it's going to be far and few between for me as compared to the issues other guys have been having that have that are using this mower non-stop you know it is their main purpose mower but you know it came out pretty good it's uh it definitely leaves a beautiful cut so you guys have seen this lawn many times um i've you know the winter was ridiculous for us in this area so any downtime where i wasn't plowing it i watch mowing videos which i'm sure a lot of you guys do and i realized that i have filmed this one a few times but it is my first lawn of the season, so I wanted to get it um, recorded anyway. You know, something for me to look back on and I can watch from year to year. That's that's one thing I've really enjoyed about making these videos is I can track my prog progress and track what I've been doing time frame wise from year to year. Um, I'm usually beginning first cuts the second week of April to the third week at the latest. Um, today is April 30th and tomorrow is the 1st of May. So uh, technically my whole first week of cuts is the first week of May. So I'm a couple weeks behind, but no big deal. Um, it, it seems like I'm going to have a pretty good season overall. <clears throat> two years ago we had that nine week drought that really killed a lot of guys and you've seen a lot of guys close up shop and that's because they didn't plan for it um it it hurt me it hurt a lot of guys but it didn't put me in anywhere near a position to where i could have gone out of business so you know you just got to be smart things you need to think about but the walker is mowing good it's mowing very good i'm really liking this new deck on here i definitely notice a difference um in this yard right here as you'll see watching this goes right back to what i was just saying about you see things differently in person than you do on camera so you guys are watching this and it looks like it's laying some pretty decent stripes nothing great nothing to write home about but pretty decent stripes and it looks like it's leaving a, a nice cut but to actually look at it in person now this right here is being cut at three and a half um to look at it in person when i got done it just you know you could barely tell standing in the lawn looking at it other than seeing the stripes you could barely even tell it was cut it didn't look like the lawn had even been cut at all it just looked like i had driven across it so what i do here in a minute is i drop the deck down and i go back over it again um i dropped it down to three inches and i went over it again it still didn't look like it was cut that much it definitely looked a lot better um and again like i said you, you may not notice that big difference on camera here but standing there in person you do so it, it definitely looked better um i could have gone down a little more but a lot of the grass still isn't standing up yet it's you know in the high 40s low 50s it's been lately and you know you really need that sun 
that hot, bright sun to get that grass to stand up and, you know, kind of like you do in the morning when you wake up and you stretch and just, you know, it's the grass reacts the same way with sun. So, you know, a lot of it is it's greening right up, but it's still laid over. It's not standing straight up yet. And, you know, the mower does help it a lot, especially as walker because of the suction it helps pull that grass up. But, you know, it, that's only to an extent. So I'm off camera right now. And that's actually what I'm doing is, now you can see me a little bit there. Um, I'm dropping the deck down to go over it again. <clears throat> but if you look at some videos and those of you that actually make videos and post them, you will see, you know, you really notice that difference from being in person to on camera when you're side discharging. There's a lot of lawns that I've mowed and I side discharge and there's just grass laying everywhere. It's just real thick grass or wet grass or whatever the case may be. Just grass laying everywhere. And then I get home at the end of the day and I watch it back on film. And my whole plan was, you know, I film myself cutting it and then I film myself cutting it again to disperse the grass to spread it out or bag it or whatever the case may be and so i'm thinking you know as i'm filming it that that's how i'll describe it you know as i'm editing the video but then you watch it back and after that first cut you're looking at your footage and you're thinking you can't even tell there's grass laying there like you can't see it at all it, it looks like a nice even cut it looks like it's you know practically bagged it doesn't doesn't look like there's anything laying there but if you had seen it in person it looked like a damn hay field so you know that's what i mean and that's the difference um my plan for this year was to do a week in review kind of thing um just time wise um I, i've taken on a bunch of extra lawns this year than i wanted to i wanted to stay right around 60 lawns as a lot of you guys know uh, i maintained 74 a week last year i am solo since i got rid of my employees a few years ago and gone back to solo for those of you that don't know um but most of my lawns are real good size i really don't have any small lawns so 74 lawns a week for a guy that's about to turn 40 you know it kicks your butt so you know i wanted to be right around 60 and you know this year i'm taking on a bunch of new lawns i gotta buy another new truck i did sell the plow truck i got you know pretty much exactly what i was asking for it so that's been gone but i do have to buy a new truck this year so i've taken on extra lawns but this is gie year for me uh, for those of you that don't know i am going to gie this year i have already booked the booked and paid for the house i'm going to be staying in with two other guys so um I'm, I'm just taking on more work to plan for these extra things these extra expenses things like that that i'm doing and uh so that was my plan to do a week in review i really am not going to have the time to record every single day and to put up a lot the videos to that extent anyway i'm still going to put out a ton of videos but i think actually what i'm going to do is uh i may just do maybe a couple videos a week rather than a week in review because the more i thought about it the style of videos i do a week in review is just going to be very long videos that nobody's going to click on because nobody's going to want to sit and watch them for that long so um it's kind of be up in the air but i am going to put a lot out um also, real quick, as this video is wrapping up, this is what I do with the walker. I put the plastic bins there, I dump them into it, dump them in the truck. But uh, you guys will see this. There's actually a lot less grass in there than I thought there was going to be. Look at that. 